Riley here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Tuesday, October 15th, 2024. Stand up for your country. Well, three weeks from today, I will walk over to my polling place about a half mile away. Uh, I need the exercise and I will uh, go there, give my name, show my ID and I will vote in person. Now, I like doing that. I like talking to the poll people. I haven't seen them a lot. They're there. And anybody else is going to ask me, you know, what I think. Nobody asked me who I vote for. But for the first time ever, I told you who I'm going to vote for because I cannot vote for Kamala Harris and a progressive ticket. I can't. I mean, I'd be betraying my country if I did that because they don't want the country that we have now. They want drastic change. And I don't. I think we have to tweak it. Absolutely. But I I don't want to throw everything out the window. That's just insane. So anyway, for the first time ever, everybody knows who I'm voting for. Uh, And I'll go down there three weeks from today and I'll do it. No envelopes for me. No absentee. No early voting. I, I don't need that. You know, my patriotism is traditional. And, uh, you know, my grandparents, great grandparents, everybody, they went to the poll. So I'm going. Talking points memo this evening is say what you mean if you can. So Kamala Harris is sliding deeper into incoherence. This is not a personal thing. This is a repertorial thing. All right. When you hear her, very few people know what she's talking about. Say what you mean, Miss Vice President. I don't know what you mean half the time. So she goes on the Black Star Network, whatever that is. I have no idea what that is. It's promoting African-American opinion, I guess. I don't know. So they're talking about how Trump's a racist. They, it's what they do, okay? And, and Trump uh, is, is uh, scaring everybody with urban crime. Roll a tape. Again, he's singling out cities where there are significant African-Americans, and that's who he's talking about, yes. black people. Yes, yes, I, You know, there's this whole, I, I talked with somebody once who said, you know, if you just look at where the, the, the stars are in the sky, don't look at them as just random things. If you just look at them as points, look at the constellation, what does it show you? So you just outlined it, Roland. What does it show you? that the cities that he picks on in terms of black population or black mayor are both. Come on. No constellations. And I really don't know what that was all about. Now, in any fair interview, and that certainly wasn't one is run by a guy who hates white people. Um, in my opinion, um, and Harris knows that, by the way. She goes into these precincts. It would be like Trump going into some Klan thing, all right? It's crazy. But they'll never call uh, Harris out on it. So what has been ignored in that conversation is that the vast majority of crime victims are African-Americans. People who are hurt by criminals. And the criminals that are hurting the African-American victims are black. That is significant. Is it not? Is it not? So when you point that out, it might be a good thing to do it. So the problem could get solved because it's been going on for 40, 50 years. Nobody's paying attention to it. Oh, you want to hurt the poor African-Americans? Go ahead. (laughs) Certainly the Black Star Network isn't doing anything about it. Right? So anyway... I use a soundbite because I think that she is up in the constellation somewhere. I I don't know what she's talking about. Say what you mean. Okay. So today, uh, Kamala Harris goes to Detroit to another African-American radio guy. Okay. I, I, I guess she's trying to bolster her standing within the black community, black voters, because she's lost some of them. I don't know if this does any good or not. I do know that there isn't one interview on television, video interview, that's done her any good. Not one. 
in this whole campaign. So now she's going on Fox News tomorrow. Uh, Brett Baer is the interrogator. I wrote a message of the day on BillOReilly.com. I'm sorry I'm so boring, but please go there every morning and read it. You don't have to be a premier conservation member. You don't have to be anything. Just go BillOReilly.com. Boom, there's the message of the day. I wrote about the difficulty that Brett Baer has in front of him. More pressure on him than her. If Baer does not ask tough questions and call her out when she dodges, if she dodges, okay, FNC viewers <laughs> can be furious, okay? Uh, so he, he's not a confrontational guy and he's not an opinion guy. I don't expect a confrontation, but he's got to go on the record and say, look, I asked you, A, you told me you had a middle-class house upbringing. Uh, that doesn't answer A. That's what you do. Now, I know this better than anybody in the world because I did the same thing, the exact same thing. Let's go back. September 2008, okay, John McCain running against Barack Obama, Senator McCain getting momentum. Okay, he's got Sarah Palin on a ticket. She was initially popular. I get a call. You got to go to York, Pennsylvania, if you want to interview Senator Obama, which I wanted to do. So I get on the plane and I go to York. All right, this is exactly the same scenario as Bear Kamala Harris. Roll the tape. But I still don't understand, and I'm asking this as an American as well as a journalist, how threatening you feel Iran is. See, look, if Iran that, gets think... a nuclear weapon, okay? Mm -hmm. To me, they're going to give it to Hezbollah if they can develop the technology. Why not? And then, and then they said, we don't have anything to do with it. Yeah. So, therefore, the next president of the United States is going to have to make a decision right. about Iran, whether to stop them militarily, because I don't believe if diplomacy works fine, but you've got to have a plan B. And, and a lot of people are saying, look, Barack Obama is not going to attack Iran. Well, here, here, here's where you and I agree. It is unacceptable for Iran to possess a nuclear weapon. It would be a game changer. And I've said that repeatedly. I've also said I would never take a military option off the table. But would you prepare for one? Well, uh, listen. That's I, the question, I, though, no, Senator. No, the, Anybody uh, can say option. Would you prepare uh, for it? it? Look, it is not appropriate for somebody who is one of two people who could be the president of the United States to start tipping their hand in terms of what their plans might be with respect to Iran. It's sufficient to say I would not take the military option off the table and that I will never hesitate to use our military force in order to protect the homeland and the United States interest. All right, so that was a discussion more than an interview, which is what Bear should try to do tomorrow. And you got to give Barack Obama credit. You have to. I mean, he sat there for a good 40 minutes. Uh, Bear's interview is only going to be 20, 25. And he, you know, we back and forth. And it was good. <laughs> All right. So you have there a baseline. Brett Baer was smart. He'd go back and watch all three of my interviews with Barack Obama. Yeah, he won't. That's not to say he's not smart, but that doesn't even occur to these folks. All right. So I'm going to analyze this on Thursday. Bear's going to run it on a show at six on FNC. I'll have a big, big takeout on it on Thursday. A very important story. Because the first time that Kamala Harris putting herself uh, at risk. I don't know if that's fair, but um, she's going into a non-cupcake situation. The CBS 60 Minutes thing wasn't a cupcake, but now it's shrouded with controversy because CBS won't release the transcript, which is just crazy. Okay, finally, Time Magazine. Not what it used to be. I think everybody would agree with that. Uh, turn, they want to interview Kamala Harris. Nope. Not going to do it. So here is a tweet from the editor uh, and the owner of Time Magazine. Quote, Time has not been granted an interview with Kamala Harris, unlike every other presidential candidate. We believe in transparency and publish each interview in full. Why isn't the vice president engaging with the public on the same level? Trust matters. Transparency matters. Leadership. Bum, 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 bum. Now, I don't know why Harris had turned down an interview with Time Magazine. That's not hostile territory. It's just something very strange about this. And that's the memo. All right, schedules. Uh, Joe Biden goes to Philadelphia to do something with the Sheet Metal Workers Union. I don't know what it is. 
Um, Harris, I mentioned in Detroit with a radio talk show host. And then uh, Trump is going to do uh, a town hall today, tape it for Fox News as well. Fox News is on a roll here. Um, and it's all about women. Uh, so it's going to air tomorrow. So Trump will be on in the morning in FNC. And then Kamala will be on Thursday, right? No, no, at night. At night, on the Bear Show at night. Big night, big day for Fox. Good for them. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. America is at a breaking point. Record inflation, interest rates, debt. The last thing we need is more reckless government spending and higher taxes, and they could happen. But a Harris presidency could bring us into that zone, plus a hit to your retirement savings. So protect your savings with American Hartford Gold. They'll help you secure your retirement by diversifying with physical gold and silver. Start with a simple phone call. They'll guide you through the process, even deliver gold and silver right to your door or place it directly in your IRA or 401k. Don't wait. These safe haven assets can protect you in an economic crisis. Call or text American Hartford Gold today. Tell them O'Reilly sent you to get up to $15,000 of free silver on qualifying orders. Call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Okay, big YouTube channel announcement. I have a Columbus, Christopher Columbus, and Kamala Harris analysis on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Bill O'Reilly, youtube.com slash Bill O'Reilly. And it's got uh, an enormous amount of views already. We just posted it last night. You check it out, sign up, it's free. We want you to be on our YouTube channel. Let's go to the mail. We got Don Malden, Aiken, South Carolina. I heard Jamie Raskin himself, he's a congressman, say that Trump cannot be elected because of the insurrectionist amendment. He also said he will never hold office even if he wins. I have this on recorded video. So what? (laughs) Jamie Raskin is a loon. You don't know that, Don? He's as far out there as you can get. There is no insurrectionist amendment, and Trump hasn't been charged with any insurrection. Hey, Jamie Raskin? Man. Eric, the media is complicit in the destruction of the American dream. I wrote a message of the day on the American dream. Only the ruling class will have a great life. All others will get crumbs. All that because they don't like Trump. Nah, it's not because they don't like Trump. This socialistic movement has been, I wrote Culture Warrior, my book, Culture Warrior, in 2004. I told you it was coming. Check that book out. Um, Charlie, concierge member. Thank you, Charlie. Charlie has my team on his team. Concierge membership. BillOReilly.com. Pleased to say I'm voting for Donald J. Trump and all my family. We couldn't care less what other people do because, in the end, we don't approve of Kamala Harris. Do me a favor, uh, Charlie. We love you because you're a concierge member. Don't say Donald J. Trump. That sounds very uh, arrogant. Donald J. Trump. No. His name is President Trump. Donald Trump. The Don. But the people who go, Donald J. Trump. It's like this arrogance built into this. Why are we doing that? I don't know. Uh, Lisa, concierge member, being an immigrant myself, I've written and published a book about the American dream. In fact, one of the chapters is titled Self-Reliance Rocks. I know Lisa isn't talking about rock climbing. Self-reliance, core American value that is ignored in public education today. Henry Ryan, Okinawa, a Japanese island. Mr. O, 
Is it only voter ID that is not required in states mentioned on the No Spin News yesterday? Do voters in the 13 states in Washington you listed still require an ID, such as a driver's license, for identity purposes? Of course they do. The police stop somebody, you know, let me see your ID. You got to have an ID. But the 13 states in D.C., you don't have to show an ID to vote. Insane? You bet. Should be a national law. That got to show an ID so they can match it up with the voter registration. Right? Why don't they want that? Ask Kamala tomorrow. Why don't you want that? Uh, glad you're watching out in Okinawa, far away. Patrick Atomic. Um, Patrick says, been watching the No Spin News as an undecided voter. As an individual with a physical disability, can you share with me Republicans' plans for our community? I cannot, Patrick. It is a local and state issue. Every state is different about how they treat the disabled. Every state, thank God, has a bureau, an agency to help you. But it's not a federal issue. There's no federal legislation that I know of. So they don't deal with it. Uh, Joe Tentler, Denver, Colorado. Hey, Bill. Love to say a minute about cliches. As a kid growing up in Chicago, my dad would watch sporting events on mute because he couldn't stand the cliches and the banter. As a sports fan, how do you deal with it? I listen to radio guys. I turn the TV guys down because I just, it's, it's beyond bad. And the radio guys I listen to. Radio guys are usually better. Not always. But these cliches, I, I, I just, you know, keep track of them. Just write them down. And it's, make it a game. All right, why don't you go to BillOReilly.com store. Pick up Confronting the President's hot book. Um, big, big uh, positive reviews on Amazon and uh, become a premium concierge member. You get it free. And check out the No Socialism mugs. These are uh, going to sell out. Uh, if you don't like socialism, I'm going to ship a whole bunch over to Sweden. Uh, I bet you it'll be a big seller in Stockholm because they're getting hosed over there. Socialism. Then we got the political memorabilia, all three mugs. Okay, Team Normal. Love that. Not woke, no socialism altogether, special price. Word of the day, do not be fatuous. F-A-T-U-O-U-S, fatuous. Okay, final thought, Yankee Stadium, Taylor Swift last night. I'll tell you all about it. The Federal Reserve has dropped interest rates, so you need to call my friends at American Financing today. With mortgage rates in the fours, it's a perfect time to consolidate debt and reduce your monthly expenses. Now, many of us have been forced to use credit cards due to the cost of groceries, utilities, even childcare. And thanks to insanely high credit card rates, that debt becomes even more expensive. But American Financing helps homeowners, just like you, save more than $800 a month, on average. They're even closing in as fast as 10 days. You can close it all in 10 days. And if you start today, you might be able to delay the next two mortgage payments. There's no upfront fees. To find out how much you can save, please call American Financing, 888-462-9557, 888-462-9557, AmericanFinancing.net slash bill. Being able to run your business on your schedule is very important. So cut down hours spent on mailing and shipping with Stamps.com and do it on your timeline, not somebody else's. From small businesses to multi-location organizations, Stamps.com handles all your mailing and shipping needs wherever, whenever. Automatically see your cheapest and fastest shipping options from different carriers. Order shipping and mailing supplies, even printers from the supply store when you're low. Get rates you can't find anywhere else, like up to 89% off USPS and UPS. Free up more time for more important business with Stamps.com. Sign up at Stamps.com and enter code O'Reilly for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. That's Stamps.com. Code O'Reilly.
All right, here's a final thought. So I'm lucky enough to uh, get invited to go to uh, ball games uh, here in New York, and I went to the Yankee game last night. Steinbrenner family has been very nice to me, and we're in the booth, and uh, Taylor Swift was there uh, with the guy. She's going out with the San- Kansas City Chief guy. Nobody saw them. They were kind of like hidden in the stadium. Stadium is monumental. It's cavernous. So I don't know where they were, but they made sure they got their picture out. Somebody got their picture, and they made sure to get it out. Now, I, Earl McCarthy, was a whole bunch of people, very interesting people, and we had a lot of laughs. Um, first of all, there's Chaz Palamentieri, a friend of ours. Um, if you get a chance to see his one-man show, you got to do that. Chaz is a really good guy. He's telling me all about uh, Gandolfini. There's Cardinal Dolan uh, reinstating me after excommunicating me for something. He's a big Yankee fan, even though he's from the Midwest. And he's a very good guy. And then we had uh, the owner of the Yankees, Hal Steinbrenner, the owner of the Islanders, John Ledecky, and me, your humble correspondent. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, I'm not a big hanging with the swells guy, but I learned so much. Like I said, I was talking to Chaz about uh, Gandolfini, who I never met. Fascinating. And all these people... Their one question was, Mayor Adams, is he going to survive in New York City? And I do not think he will. That was the buzz. It wasn't so much Trump and, and Kamala. It was, it was uh, you know, because this is local. Now, I'm one of the few human beings on earth who roots for the Yankees and the Mets. <laughs> now, you, that's almost a sacrilege. So I got a dispensation from Cardinal Dolan. I can, I can do it. So tomorrow night, I'll be with the Mets. And that's the team I grew up with. Um, And I'm hoping for a Subway Series here. Now, if there is a Subway Series, Yankees versus Mets in a World Series, I'll be your go-to guy there. So I know everything about them. And I will tell you all that stuff. It's not a sports broadcast, but this is so much relief from the politics we all have to deal with every day. It's just great. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.